everybody, this is M and we are back in Mass Effect 2. I am excited as to be close to a kind of a conclusion to this game. Let's get out of there first. Hmm. Okay, so it was up here. Oh wait, let's be down. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, pardon, sorry. Ooh, burpy burpy. Alright. Alright then, we got loads of money, so we should be fine. Oh, uh, let's have a look at the Shadowbroker planet. Oh, rich planet. Oh, so those are places to get, like, resources then? Let's go to the Citadel. Because we need to pick up a package. <laughs> Bless me! Oh. We're gonna be doing, like, side quests, figuring out where they go. Figure out who needs stuff. Do all the side things. Maybe even talk to Anderson. But I hope that everybody's been doing all right, basically, and that you've been been keeping safe, been keeping having fun. For Ten credits. We offer data protection for any game we sell. Nice. I'm Commander Shepard, and, and this, this is, is my, my favorite, favorite store in the Citadel. Citadel. Yeah. Just getting all the monies. Get those upgrades sorted. Alright. Hello! Too bad we can't talk to Emily Wong. Right, next place is Tuchunk Tu Tuchunka or Yeah, I think it's Tuchunka. I hope I'm saying that correct. Oh there it is. Because we got a quest to hand in here too. We forgot to do it when we were doing the uh, scouting mission to tell him that the the scouting group was you know, alive. Let's take the let's take the old original team. We don't really need to worry about anything really. Oh, it's beautiful. Not really. Oh, lovely. I love how this Oh, maybe if we Go to the clan leader. Or not grunt, you can go where you want. <laughs> Solarians too. Those little bastards think they're so smart. You need us to fight the rat guy, though, didn't they? Clan Erdnaught has increased in strength after the destruction of Clan Werelock. Good. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnaught has adopted surviving members of Clan Werelock, mostly women and children. In addition, cool. killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepherd. Oh! Oh my! Oh my stars! Shepherd, what can I do for you, my friend? Sounds like you've got big changes. We're making ahead. a neutral. It's a new day for the Krogan. We shall rise again. Well, this sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I I've got a few clans, but too many are turning their backs I on us. I need to go. Hunt okay. well, Shepard. Hmm. I think I like the the thing that we did. We killed the fresher more. Like that made, like, run. Wow. Can you imagine? Everybody's like, oh Place my god, I pitch, need Grant's bebas. We won't regret it. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. 
Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Ah, oh, okay. My scout made it back. Mm. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. Yep. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can not fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. Okay. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Good. Thanks for the information. Don't know about the rest of your species. The pits have been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. Oh, right, yeah, we got you a hand in the... the... Sorry. If you're gonna stand there, make yourself useful. I can't do anything until I build a replacement manifold for this damn Tomka. Uh, I have the part you I found need. a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. Good. You just saved me three days' work, human. You burn my time if you want it. Uh, why would you be a man? Uh, yeah, do you like Rex? How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. <laughs> if it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Ah, okay. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside and this thing would have crumbled. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Krogan's placed so much importance on martial strength. How'd you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you yeah. think keeps the weapons working? Exactly. Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. Mm. I am the military might of Clan Erdnot. Yeah, that's how you look at Let it. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Oh. Wow. Alright. Whatever. Should you be. As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. Mm. You're the cranch for the new warrior, hmm? The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass off my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. Oh. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crossing. The Solarians? The designers of the job. Yeah, yeah, what else can the Solarians do to us at this point? Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Uh... Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Oh, we already researched everything. Nice. Alright. Don't touch anything. I, I'm Ignore them. <laughs> all right. All right. Um. All right. Okay. Now we need to head to. Oh, Admiral Hackett asked Shepard to investigate a, and rescue. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, a forged ID as well assaulting Hackett's uh, destroyed computer for useful to someone. Uh, what about? Oh, yeah. We gotta return to Omega. All right. So let's get return to Omega and find out where this um, false ID may go. I might have to search it up because I barely survived the mod during my right. Guess that human's got a quad. I've got the biggest quad you'll ever see. You don't have the plates to try. Oh. oh. A human killed the Thresher. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. Don't you again. What can Clan Knockmore do for you? 
I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. You did amazing. We got a load of uh, reputation for killing that big thing. Let or not grudge with us now. We're willing to consider new directions. That's what makes Clan Earth not strong. Hmm. Right, let's get out of it. Flapping aliens. I was obviously mistaken. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Whatever. See you later. Right, let's uh, find this false ID then. Oh, actually, let's go to the other place and then get to the false ID. Maybe it's in now. Maybe. We'll find out. Let's go to Omega. Where's Omega? There it is. Omega. Alright. Alright, where is it? Omega. There we are. Uh, let's see. So, yep. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, no. Alright, let's talk to... I want to talk to... Actually, I don't want to talk to you two, because I don't trust you. Oh, wait. What? Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And the people don't work together toward a common goal. There's no sense of family here. Just fear. Makes sense. When they're working for a tyrant like this. She's a... I guess there's worse at Give me another drink, love. Nothing to see here. All right, hello. What do you need? Hmm. We friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're huh? reaching back centuries, Shepard. Oh. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers, a few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, so. I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. Mm. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record keeping. All right, I'll drop it. Oh. Better luck next time. Omega? Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. Huh? The details are complicated. All right. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. 
espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Oh my. Superior intel, assassination. That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Oh. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. Yeah, go on. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. So you kept him around as a trophy? Oh. I did. Whenever someone thought about taking Interesting. me Interesting. Well, let's move on. Do you need something else? Uh, uh... One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Oh, hello. What? Uh... Do you know a Solarian named Ish? I know of him. He's collecting information about you. Plans to sell it to the highest bidder. I have no secrets. None at all. Take a look at this data. What? Where did you get this? This, this is privileged information. This could hurt Arya, couldn't it? It would be bad for me, yes. But Arya, no. One of her lieutenants being involved in this shows a big flaw in her organization. What do you want from me? Just so you know, someone's gunning for you. Someone usually is. I got this one. Thank you for the heads up, human. No problem. Let's see if, uh... What do you need? You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look... Ha! Joke's on you! I've Master got a lovely man! Suck it! Just checking something. Hello? Right, okay. Right, now let's uh, talk to them outside and tell them that their, their uh, plan has failed. The thing is, is that they're just sneaky little... They were just being sneaky little businessmen trying to get power that they couldn't control. Come on, let me in. Oh good, they're dealt with. Oh hello. Got something to report? I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Okay. You've let tip Alright, let me just see. Let me say very quickly so we don't end up losing any information. I'll be right back. Back. And I found out where I need to go. It is on the Citadel and it's in this corner. Right here. Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists. What if they turn this place into? Alright, let's talk to you. Let's see what's going on. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Uh, let me help you out. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. Oh. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Uh, let's see. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the CSEC station? Alright. I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. 
Let's see what's going on. I'd rather not give them it just automatically. If CSEC is saying that they're dangerous, then let's find out why. Yes. Uh, no, not yet. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. The front, the front lady, maybe. All right. Let's see. I want to know when the next shuttle will get. Can I help you, ma'am? Uh, why can't I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to sir? station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of CSEX undercover agents. Okay. I'm a Spectre. Let them leave. Uh, they're not geth! Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Oh Look, God. miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I'm not saying it makes any sense. Those are the rules I have to enforce. Right. I can't get them cleared, but I can flag the case file for review. That will allow them to travel in the meantime. Right. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Next. Oh, the worst custom agents ever. Oh, I can't imagine anything worse. Can you imagine, no? Just, oh my goodness. It's like, oh, you're not allowed to go because you're, you're a geth. What? I'm sorry, what? Okay, now we can get them on the ship. But nicely. So? Uh, they'll let you leave. Good news. I convinced them to let you go. You what? How did you do that? I explained how their methods are flawed. I fought a lot of Geth in my time. Few have. How unexpected. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, there we go. And I think that is it for side quests until. Yeah, look. We cleared him out. And now we just got to go to save the doctor. So how much time have we... I think this will be like a little montage video to see like all the little catch up things. So I think we've done all that. Uh, let's just get back into Normandy and see if we get any like messages or anything like that. So I can like get them on. Alright, let's... Let's see. Hello. No messages for you, Commander. Oh, that's a shame. I thought there would have been some by now. All right. Okay. Since there's no messages and nothing to read. Oh wait. Maybe um. Joker has something to say about the last mission we were on. It was with uh, Liara, so maybe he has something. Hopefully. Let's see. Hello. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here. Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. Nice. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. After that, Joker's uh, lovely introduction. This will be a little short video, and then I think that we'll be doing the big one. So um, I'll catch you for the final episode of number two. See you soon. Bye.